The golden age of aviation. The field of the Ashburton Aviation Museum awash with many splendid flying machines of yesteryear, celebrating one man's vision, which is now a reality. Late aviation enthusiast Eric Druitt's dream of a replica control tower now stands adjacent to the airfield. Now, as many of you will know, Eric approached the museum initially with an idea that we might like to take over his extensive collection of books, maps, photos and memorabilia, all relating to Bomber Command, which we heavily agreed to do. And from that start grew this amazing idea that we should construct a replica tower on the field as Eric's legacy. Many aircraft from days gone by are on display, including a Tiger Moth, replica Spitfires and Mustangs, a DC-3 and the museum's Harrier jump jet, along with dozens of other planes. Owen Moore says the tower project is a huge event for the organisation and getting it built in the first place was a serious challenge. Building a tower is a huge undertaking and to even think we could get it off the ground was a great achievement, which involved a number of people. One of our founding members, Mr Jim Chivers, had always been keen on building something on the field that showed how the airfield was when it was an operational field. Eric Druitt's descendants cut the ribbon to declare the tower open before people clambered up its steps to see the displays on the second story. Lifelong aviation enthusiast Graham Church remembers his days in the Air Training Corps when he looked up to pilots. It all sounded quite exciting and uh, the ATC boys got invited out to come and help. Well that was just fantastic, you know, fancy coming out, being invited out to come and help the Air Force, that was really sounded important and uh, so I volunteered now, and they also said that if you came out for five days after school and worked hard, you might, just might, get a ride in the harbour. Along with a host of historic aircraft, there were also vintage vehicles on display, including old Ford trucks and airport service vehicles. In Ashburton, the South Today.